Good morning. I didn't know if you came home last night, so how did it go with Blair? You win. Oh. So good. Did you tell her how you feel? No. Yeah. That's a shame. You seemed so determined. Why didn't you tell her? I take my life, Victor. I take yours. No, I did not tell Blair how I feel. What? It wasn't the right time. Well, I mean, I know it's not an easy thing to do. That's, I guess that's why I was so glad that you were determined to try. Wow. That's the last time I ever tell you what my plans are. Okay, well, I mean, what happened? Why didn't you tell her? Someone scared me. Who? Sam. Sam? You were scared of a little boy? You should have seen his costume. You sure it wasn't someone else? Tomas? <laughs> no, I... <laughs> I was not even thinking about Tomas. What is bothering you? I mean, I know it's something. It's Sam. He's having a hard time. I mean, he just lost his dad. It's a very confusing time for him. I'm sure it is, yeah. And he really needs Blair right now. But he likes you. You would be a big help to him. What, by getting it on with his mom? No. By being around. It would be good for him. I'm good for no, Blair. No, no, no. I'm the last person that kid needs around. That kid needs his dad. I'm not his dad. I'm the reason his dad is dead. Why do you think that you're the reason that Victor is dead? I mean, you can't really believe that. I'm, I'm sure it's what Jack is telling Sam every day. All right. It's going to take time with Jack, but he will come around uh, eventually. I don't know. I mean, I, I think that he really wants Victor to be his dad. No. Victor's the only dad he remembers. But that's no reason for you to feel guilty for being alive. What if I hadn't come back to town? Oh, come on, that's rubbish. You don't know who killed Victor or why. Look, if I had it to do again, I would do it differently. But there's no way I can go back. I can't change. I can't change things. I can't. I can't change what I did. I don't know what you mean. What I did? What? Never mind. I mean, do you think you shouldn't have come back to Landview? I think that there are things that I could have done differently. Okay, what would you have changed? How? I, I'm done. I don't, I don't, I don't talk anymore. I, All I right, okay, fine. fine. I'm sorry. I was so happy, you know, that you were looking for a new relationship. Do I talk to you about your relationships? Huh? Do I, do I, you want to talk about your love life? Tell me something. How's things going with Clint? Clint and Vic, he's sitting in a tree. Oh, stop How's that it. feel? You like that? Come on, there's nothing going on between Clint and me. Mm. Okay, you know what? Why don't we make a deal, all right? We'll make like a, a pact, okay? There's a lot of stuff that happened to both of us. Stuff that nobody else will understand. Stuff that we really should just keep between the two of us, right? Okay, that's fine. But I will always be here to listen to you. You know that, right? Yeah, I kind of figured that. But the other stuff, okay? The, did you tell Blair that you love her stuff? Oh, okay, did you not okay, tell I'll keep my that mouth stuff? shut. And I will do the same. Do we have a deal? Yes, we have a deal. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, but these documents from the Superior Court are marked urgent. Thank you, Nigel. What is this? I get one, too. And there's one for Miss Tina. You know what this means? you so great not much yeah that's right you know what everybody thinks these Buchanans are so so perfect but you know what if half the things I've ever heard about you are true you, you are as bad as I am in fact you know what you are worse because you've always had money you have no excuse so, so you think I'm greedy you think I'm selfish that I don't care who I hurt well I have news for you we have news for you too Tina 